He turned to me with his kind, sleepy gaze and fresh face slowly brightening to the grin that sets my memory back to summer days. With twenty runs to make and last man in. He told me he had been having a bloody time in trenches, crouching for the crumbs to burst while squeaking rats scampered across his line and the grey palsied weather did its worst. But as he stamped and shivered in the rain, my stale philosophies had served him well. Dreaming about his girl had sent his brain blanker than ever. She had no place in hell. Good God, he laughed and slowly filled his pipe, wondering why he always talked such tripe. A subaltern by Siegfried Sazun focuses on the emotional exchange between two soldiers, one of whom is a subaltern, a junior officer. The poem presents the subaltern's attempt to remain upbeat and humorous despite the horrors of war that he has endured. Through this conversation, Zazun exposes the tension between the outward attempts at maintaining normalcy and the inner turmoil caused by war. The subaltern turns to the speaker with a kind, sleepy gaze, suggesting he is exhausted, but still trying to remain approachable and friendly. The description of his fresh face indicates that despite the harshness of war, the subaltern is young and retains a boyish innocence. His face brightens into a grin, a momentary return to the lightness of youth which contrasts with the grim reality of the battlefield. This outward expression of cheerfulness stands in contrast to the inner fatigue he feels. The grin reminds the speaker of happier times, particularly a game of cricket, a beloved British pastime. The summer days and the reference to 20 runs to make and the last man in evoke the carefree nature of pre-war life where the greatest challenge was winning a cricket game, not surviving on the battlefield. This nostalgic image of a peaceful and simple past contrasts with the grim and violent present the soldiers now face. The subaltern then tells the speaker about his harsh experiences in the trenches using the phrase bloody time to express the misery and danger he endured. The word bloody has a dual meaning here, both as an expression of frustration and as a literal reference to the violence and bloodshed of war. Crouching for the crumbs to burst refers to the constant threat of um, artillery shells, crumbs, exploding around him in the trenches. This image captures the fear and vigilance soldiers had to maintain as they are frequently under fire. Sassoon vividly describes the conditions in the trenches. The rats are a common symbol of the filth and decay of trench warfare highlighting the unsanitary and uncomfortable living conditions. The grey palsied weather refers to the cold, wet and miserable conditions soldiers faced. The word palsied suggests that even the weather is um, debilitated, further contributing to the atmosphere of despair. The weather did its worst, meaning it made the already terrible conditions even more unbearable. Despite everything, the subaltern is still physically affected by the cold and rain, stamping his feet and shivering to keep warm. 
This moment shows the inescapable physical toll of being on friend on different lines. The speaker reflects that his stale philosophies have helped the subaltern in some way. This could suggest that the subaltern found comfort in thinking about something other than the war, perhaps turning to abstract thoughts or discussions that temporarily took his mind off the grim reality around him. The word stale suggests the speaker doubts the value of these philosophical ideas in the face of such brutal conditions. The subaltern copes by dreaming about his girlfriend, using thoughts of love as a distraction from the horrors of war. However, this attempt to escape mentally only leaves him more emotionally numb or detached, blanker than ever. His dreams of his girl do not belong in the terrible, nightmarish environment of the trenches. She had no place in hell. Emphasizing the stark contrast between love and the cruelty of war. The mention of hell reinforces the idea that war is a living nightmare, an inferno where personal relationships and feelings of love seem out of place. The subaltern exclaims, good God, a mix of frustration, irony and perhaps disbelief at the absurdity of their situation. Despite his suffering, he laughs and tries to maintain a sense of humor. As he fills his pipe, a ritualistic calming act, he reflects on his tendency to speak tripe, meaning nonsense. This could indicate that he feels his attempts to talk about anything meaningful or reflective in the face of such a horrific situation are futile. His light-hearted uh, demeanor hides a deep sense of despair and confusion, but he brushes it off as tripe, an indication of his struggle to make sense of it all. So this poem by Siegfried Sazun presents a vivid depiction of the psychological effects of First World War on soldiers, particularly junior officers like the subaltern. Through a combination of humor, nostalgia and grim realism, Sassoon portrays the internal conflict of a soldier trying to cope with the horrors of war. The tension between outward cheerfulness and inner despair is central to the poem, reflecting the emotional toll war takes on even the most optimistic of soldiers. Thank you.